first off, how's your shins? Because you've had two weeks in a row, two games in a row, where you've had a pretty hefty knock to them. How are they, how are they doing? Uh, yeah, I'm luckily I'm good to be fair. I just had to a few naughty tackles, so just happy to come out fine, really. Uh, yeah, two two different ones, maybe two red cards, in my opinion, but yeah, can't mind. Do you see that as a bit of a compliment at times that they're having to do that to you? Uh, yeah, I think definitely some of them one. I think that was more of like, obviously, the intention of maybe not trying to hurt me, but trying to make a point. So the Oxford one was more of a 50 50 and he was a bit late. Um, but yeah, some of them one was obviously I've knocked the ball through his legs and it's come straight through me. And he's a teammate of yours at Man City, is that right? Yeah, he is. He is obviously from Man City as well. He is slightly younger than me, to be fair. So I'm not, I'm not played with him too much. Um, so yeah, more more of a teammate than a friend. So I didn't take it to heart too much. And for yourself, obviously, a couple of assists last weekend and a good performance on on Tuesday. Do you feel like you're getting back to your best? Yeah, to be fair, I'm feeling a lot better. Not just over the last two games, over the last maybe four or five. I think. Um, yeah, I'm obviously getting back to where I want to be. Um, obviously, the team going in the same way as well, so it looks good for the rest of the season. And you must be pleased as well, although you just want to play week in, week out. The fact that the brought in wingers now means you can go back into more of your preferred position rather than playing out wide. Yeah, it does suit me more, you know, playing obviously with natural wingers. You know, I've played out there myself, and obviously I like out there. I don't mind it. Um, and I'm happy to... Gaffer trusts me to play in all these different positions. But like you said, I do think my game is best in the middle and that's where I'm more comfortable. Uh, and do you feel like you've you've made a step up from when you first joined in August? Do you feel like your performances and your ability is, is improving week in, week out? Yeah, definitely. I think this league has brought me on loads, like just for the physical side. I think obviously, like, like you said, with the tackles and stuff flying on me, that's something... Obviously, I've not had. I never had that last year playing out in Holland. And obviously, it's miles away from anything at youth level. So, it's only going to bring my game on. Um, we've heard this morning about Lewis Monson's injury and he's going to be out for, for quite a long time. How important is it that you and, and the rest of your teammates can support someone in, in that situation? Yeah, of course. I mean, obviously, I spoke to Lewis throughout the week. Obviously, before, obviously, he knew what it was going to be. And obviously, it was bad news yesterday and obviously our job as teammates is to get around him and support him as much as we can because I think most of us have gone through that process of having a long injury and it's a lonely and isolated place so he needs people around him where he can. And I guess it's just about that, that having that support and going that you know you will get through this and even though you might be sat in the gym watching us train you'll be out there one day again. Yeah of course I think that's that's how Lewis is rehab that's something he's got to try and get his head around quite quick, but obviously there's an end to the road and obviously him being at the start of that now, it's hard to see that end, but obviously as each week, month goes by, obviously it gets closer and closer and yeah, hopefully he's back out as soon as possible. And I guess the, the plan for yourselves is just to end the week on a, a real high and get it to be nine points from nine. Yeah, that's the job. I mean, obviously we've done just so-called too hard of games to hard to fix on paper but I think obviously tomorrow's just as big as the previous two I mean getting yourself up to play at the stadium of light is easy but obviously with respect to Cambridge obviously it is not as an attractive fixture but just as important Wonderful Cheers mate Cheers right, Rob uh, Finn any further questions mate? What is the mood in, with, amongst the players following the, t the last two results? Uh, I think the mood is as good as it's ever been this season. Obviously, certainly the time I've been here, um, obviously it's got the best feel about it as it has. And I think we've just got to build on that. It's the first time we've had real momentum and yeah, we're playing the best we have all season. And how have Morgan and Liam settled into, settled into that? Uh, well, yeah, for Morgan, I mean... I think he couldn't have gone any better. Obviously, the start he had against Oxford and some big moments from it, some London as well. The part he played in winning the penalty. Um, obviously, Liam only came in yesterday, so obviously he's not had as long. But 
I'm sure he'll settle in fine and hopefully he can have a similar start as Morgan did. And as, as you mentioned before, you're on loan from Man City, how, how much confidence does it give you seeing a player like Cole Palmer uh, performing? Uh, yeah, no, it's not the confidence. It's just good to see he's a good friend of mine and someone who I've played with from being six years old. Um, so, yeah, of course, it shows obviously the pathways there and obviously that's the level I want to get to and obviously the games I want to be playing in. But, yeah, even from just a friendship point of view, it makes me proud knowing I can put, obviously, Man City on my favourite team and one of my good friends is playing. 